Hey, it's Alex from Recording Magazine. I'm here at Coop Studios in Boulder, Colorado to bring you this review of the Personas Eris Pro 6 monitors. We also reviewed it in the December 2023 issue of Recording Magazine. The Eris Studio line of monitors is already well established as being a great value in the home studio space. The new Pro line aims to build on that reputation by maintaining its seriously affordable price point while delivering a more refined, at most ready, studio monitor. Currently, three models are offered in the line, the Pro 6, Pro 8, and Pro Sub 10. This video is going to be focused on the Pro 6 model. Eris Pro 6 is an active two-way monitor. Unlike its siblings in the studio line, the Pro model features a coaxial design for point source monitoring. Coaxial monitors are designed for near-perfect phase coherence by ensuring all frequencies reach your ears at the exact same time, resulting in a wider sweet spot and more precise image. To accomplish this, all drivers are oriented so that its sound emanates from a single source, or point source. With the Pro 6, rather than having the woofer double as the waveguide, as many coaxial designs do, Personas built a dedicated waveguide for its 1.25 inch silk dome tweeter. This design likely supports a more predictable and consistent high frequency dispersion, with less distortion caused by that woofer vibrating around that tweeter. Speaking of the woofer, the Pro 6 features a 6.5 inch woven glass fiber composite driver handling the lows and mids before it crosses over at 3.2 kHz. Personas does have a track record designing coaxial monitors, as the upscale Scepter models have been around for over a decade now. The S6 and S8 feature a unique horn, compression driver, and integrated DSP. While I can't speak to their sound, though Lorenz Richner raved about the S8 in the February 2014 issue, the Pro line was designed for a more specific, immersive purpose. Most marketing material surrounding the Eris Pro line illustrates that these are very much intended to be an elegant, budget-friendly solution for Atmos and immersive audio setups. Its coaxial design is at the heart of the intention to provide a wide and even dispersion that can fully envelop your room with an accurate and balanced sound. Personas notes its dispersion is entirely symmetrical. The Pro 6 is bi-amped with 75 watts driving the woofer and 65 watts driving the tweeter, class AB. The frequency response is listed at 35 hertz to 20 kilohertz and a peak SPL rating of 106 dB. The cabinets are almost square, sitting much shorter and slightly wider than most bookshelf style monitors. They also run rather deep, so you'll need decent clearance from walls in case you're getting set up in a tighter space. A sleek LED indicator is just above the front firing port. Blue indicates on and white indicates auto standby mode. Personas added flexible mounting options to the cabinet to reinforce the Atmos ready aspect, covering both wall and ceiling installations. The back panel hosts its connections and acoustic tuning controls. For I.O., we have a choice of three line-level inputs, unbalanced RCA, balanced quarter-inch, and balanced XLR. The standard IEC power connection is accompanied by a dedicated on and off switch. The tone controls are designed to compensate for shortcomings in your acoustic space. The high frequency control is a high shelf at 10K with a plus or minus 6 dB range. The midband is a peak EQ at 1K again with plus or minus 6 dB of gain. Regarding low frequency management, we have a cutoff switch with three options, flat, 80 Hz, and 100 Hz, with the latter being a minus 12 dB slope per octave. Lastly, we have another three position switch labeled acoustic space. This setting attenuates everything below 800 Hz and is intended to compensate for speaker placements up against a wall. There are three available options, zero, minus two, and minus four dB. Rounding out the control section, we have an input gain trim and a switch to turn the auto standby mode on or off. I tested the Ares Pro 6 on a range of post-production, music mixing, and critical listening. For the purposes of this review, I had all of the tone controls flat and the input gain at Unity. In each instance, I was met by a balanced tone and excellent imaging. 
perhaps most impressive is the even dispersion, both horizontal and vertical. The response remained smooth and intact as I moved throughout the room, and even while I was going between sitting and standing. In terms of output, these guys are efficient and can get loud in a hurry. I found the sweet spot to be in the neighborhood of 70 to 80 dB SPL with very focused results even at 85 dB. Once you push up to 90, the woofer felt a little bit strained and the lower mids overall were just a little bit less focused. That said, you wouldn't want to mix at those levels for a prolonged period anyway, so sticking to the friendlier listening level plays in your favor both for your ears and the tighter, more accurate reproduction. Starting from the bottom, the low frequency extension offers a controlled and punchy sound. Kick and bass sound really full without being too flabby or muddy. I would love to pair the Pro 6 with the Pro Sub 10 for even more extension, as the sub low frequencies could use a bit more juice to hear the whole story. Checking mixes on larger systems has proved beneficial, but integrating a sub would help reveal those deeper sub low frequencies. The mid-range is detailed. Vocals and guitars are reproduced with clarity and a great sense of space. And nothing really jumps out at me throughout the mid-range as being overly emphasized or pulled back. It's balanced, it's clear, it's revealing, and the transient response is very impactful. Snare drum in particular is reproduced with punch and realism. The top end is smooth and natural. I wouldn't classify it as either warm or bright. It's accurate and doesn't draw too much attention to itself. I also found it forgiving in terms of ear fatigue during longer sessions. Keeping them in that happy 80 dB SPL zone helps with that aspect too. Stylistically, the Ares Pro 6 monitors are well suited for acoustic instruments and genres. Brass, strings, vocals, guitars, percussion all translate beautifully. Engineers working in more bass heavy electronic genres may desire a little bit more power and deeper bass. But to be fair, Personas makes the Aris Pro Sub 10 for just that task. The Pro 6s are a fantastic value, offering a balanced tone and impressive imaging packed in a two-way coaxial speaker. The symmetrical dispersion make them an attractive Atmos proposition as well, with the Pro 6s being well-tailored for smaller rooms. They also offer energy and punch while maintaining an accurate response in a stereo near-field setting. Retailing for just under $400 each is an incredible value. You can learn more at the link in the description below or check out my written review in the December 2023 issue of Recording Magazine. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like and subscribe. We update the channel frequently with reviews, product comparisons, how-to videos, and more. Also, be sure to check out our website, recordingmag.com, for the best in all things recording. We'll see you next time.